and welcome to Grease Girl. We are taking out and replacing the piston rings as we're rebuilding my small block Chevy. So just a quick um, demonstration of how you take out piston rings. You got this simple little tool here. Um, you got two rings and then two compression rings and then you have your oiling rings. So there's little openings. Put the tool in there where they open. Press it together and it pops out. It's pretty simple. And the oiling ring, this tool doesn't seem to want to grab, so I've just been grabbing them alone. My lovely husband tells me that the oiling ring is more flexible this way than the compression rings. Also, we were talking about the indexing of the openings, which means that when you put these on, you want the openings. Um, one will be here, another will be 120 degrees over here. Um, because if you had all of the openings in the same spot, the blow-by as the engine compression went through would be likely to um, create blow-by, and that's not good for your engine, so you kind of turn these around. And last one here, pretty simple. So, finish cleaning these off, put a new set of rings on there, and bearings as well, and we're ready to put them back in the engine. Operation Stewed.